back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to get collaborations as a small influencer on Instagram. I know a lot of people want to do collaborations with companies, but they just simply do not know how, so I really wanted to make this video to help all of you guys out. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So first of all, if you don't know what a collaboration is, it is basically when a company sends you some products for you to promote on your Instagram page. A lot of people confuse collaborations for sponsorships, but actually sponsorships are when you get paid to promote a product and collaborations are when companies send you something to promote and you don't get paid. My first tip for you guys is to make your account look professional. Companies are way more likely to want to work with you if your page looks nice and you have a lot of posts and they match each other and everything just is organized. Make sure it looks like you know what you're doing because companies will love to see that. My second tip is to make a business email. Some companies prefer to chat with you over email instead of direct messages on Instagram. Also, put this in your bio on Instagram so companies know where they can reach out to you at. They can DM you or they can just email you. It's just nice to have a variety and a lot of options for the companies to do what works best for them. So now for my third tip, design a message that you're going to use to reach out to companies. So this message should sound very professional, you should sound very respectful and mature in this message because this is what is going to win the companies over the most. This is your first impression with them and you need to make sure it sounds good. So take your time on this, don't rush through it. Introduce yourself and who you are and what you do. Tell them why you like their products and what you find special about their page. Then let them know the basic details of this collaboration. You don't want to do too much information, but you don't want to do too little either. So make sure you find a good balance of what you're going to say in that message. I like to add something sweet and personal inside, like have a great day or something like that. And I think that's just a really nice touch to your message so that they know you're kind, mature, professional, and all of that. Okay, now that we have everything ready to reach out to brands, it's time to start finding brands and reaching out to them. So number four is going to be how you can find brands to reach out to. First is looking under hashtags. Hashtags like hashtag small shop, hashtag small business, anything like that will help you find posts from companies that are smaller and will be more likely to work with you. Another way is just to scroll through your homepage on Instagram and there will be sponsored posts. You click on those and check out the page because I have found a pretty good number of my collaborations from doing that and it's actually pretty beneficial. Another thing you can do is look at the related profiles to the one that you're on. So if you find a company that you really like and you want to reach out to, go ahead and reach out to them, but also make sure you click this little bar so you can see the related profiles and the suggested profiles for you. That way you can find more profiles just like them and just in case like they don't respond, you can save them for later. This has been super, super helpful for me and it's a great way to find more companies. Okay, so the last thing I think you guys should do is go through your stories. It's kind of the same thing as going through your homepage. There will be sponsored stories as you're scrolling through all the stories and make sure you click on the profiles and check them out. This is probably actually the main way I find my collaborations and it's so simple, but you can find some really, really good brands. Reach out to companies that sell products you genuinely like and want to promote. This is so important. Don't just do collaborations for free stuff. Companies will see in time that you don't actually like their products and you are making things up about their brand. This is the worst, 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 worst explanation of why you want to do collaborations. If this is your why, collaborations are probably not for you. Make sure you are actually passionate about the things you are promoting because your audience and the companies will see if you are being fake and lying about the things you're promoting. Number 
six is to reach out to a variety of companies. You don't want to only reach out to one type of brand. For example, you don't want to just reach out to jewelry brands and only promote jewelry. There will be too much competition between what you are promoting and the companies will not find it very professional. So make sure you look for a variety of things, not only just makeup products, not only just jewelry. Just make sure everyone that you're reaching out to sells things that you are passionate to promote, like I was talking about in the last tip. Okay, so my next tip is to stay organized. This is a big one. Be wise when reaching out to companies and planning out your collaborations. You don't want to get yourself too, too packed, but you also don't want to have just a big gap between all your collaborations. So you need to make sure you're reaching out to them wisely, spacing them out wisely, and just planning everything and staying organized. Don't take too long to take the pictures and post them because you'll have piles of stuff You'll forget what companies the items belong to and it'll just be a big mess. You need to make sure you have a plan and you know what you're doing before you reach out to brands. Okay, so these next few tips are all about when you get the responses from brands or even if you don't get a response. Okay, do not push things. If a company says no, just move on and be respectful and kind about it. Give companies time to think about your message and respond when they are ready. So this means if a company sees your message and doesn't respond, don't push anything, don't be like, hello, are you gonna answer? Can you give me a yes or no? Because that is really rude and they will not wanna work with you at all. It's just best to give the companies their own time. Running a business is a lot more work than you think and they have a lot of things to do. So it's gonna take them some time to get back to you, but that's perfectly fine. Once again, just be mature, respectful, and kind towards them. They'll see through the way you act if this is a good collaboration or not. They're gonna want someone who's kind and actually loves their products to promote them and get them some business coming their way. They don't want someone that is rude and snobby and just wants free things. They're gonna see that through the way you talk to them, through the way you act, they're gonna see it and then they're not gonna wanna work with you. Okay, my final tip is don't give up. It is really hard and it takes time to find companies and build relationships with them, but don't give up. It is all worth it in the end. You will eventually get a collaboration. It just takes persistence and time and a lot of passion. Work on making your page better and your content that you post better because brands will see how hard you're working and they will totally want to work with you. Just be patient, give it time, it'll happen eventually. And yeah, I believe in you. I really, really, really hope that this video helped you guys out. I know all of you guys can do it. I believe in you. I hope you all enjoyed this video though. I love you all so, so much and I will see you on my next video.